In this video, we will install Ubuntu on a Hetzner dedicated server with RAID 0. Software RAID 0 allow you to combine two disks into one larger disk. RAID 0 do not provide any data protection. Only use RAID 0 if you can afford to lose the data or have a backup in case of hardware failure. First of all, we need to boot into rescue mode. For that, click on the server. Click on rescue. Enable the rescue mode. For that, select the architecture 64-bit. Click on activate rescue system. Next, we need to reboot the server. After that, we will be able to log into the server using the username root and the password provided. Copy the username and password. To reboot the server, click on reset. Select execute an automatic hardware reset. Click on send. Now the server will reboot into the rescue mode. Let's copy the server IP. To SSH into the server, SSH root at the right IP address. Then we need the password. Let's see if the server is online. The server is now online. Let's SSH into the server. Accept the key. Enter the password. Now we are in the rescue mode. On the server we have AMD Ryzen CPU. 64 GB RAM and there is two SSD NVMe disk 1024 GB each. We will combine these two drive into a single RAID 0 drive. So we will get a capacity of 2 TB. Hetzner provide an install image script that will allow us to install the operating system. Let's start the script with the command install image. We will be using Ubuntu so select the Ubuntu from the list. Press enter. Now we have various versions of Ubuntu. Let's go with Ubuntu 20.04. Press enter. It will give us a warning. By default all disk will be used for software RAID. Change it to SW RAID 0 if you want to leave the other disk untouched. Press enter. Here we have drive 1 and drive 2. We have SW RAID. This is enabled. Next we have SW RAID level default value is 1. That means RAID 1 data will be mirrored between two drives. Since the same data is stored in drive 1 and drive 2, you will only get 1 TB of useful storage. To make it RAID 0, let's change the 1 to 0. Now go down, you can specify the partition size. We will use 32 GB for the sub partition. Slash boot is 512 MB. That is too small. We will change it to 1024 MB. Rest of the disk will be used as slash partition. That's all we need to set in this file. We can quit this file. For that press F10. Use the arrow key to select yes. Press enter. It will show a confirmation screen. If we continue, all the data in the drive will be lost. Since we have no data, select yes. Press enter. We got another confirmation regarding the second hard drive. Do you want to continue? Yes. Now the installation is in progress. The installation is now complete. You can now reboot and log into your new system with the same credentials you used to log into rescue system. Let's reboot the server. Type reboot. Press enter. Let's wait for the server to back online. Ping server IP. The server is back online. Let's log into the server. SSH root at the right IP address. We got the warning. Remote host identification has changed. This is because we have reinstalled the operating system. What we need to do is run this command that will delete the old key identification. Now let's log in with the SSH command again. SSH root at the right IP address. Let's accept the new identification key. Type yes and press enter. We can use the same password as the rescue password. We are logged into the server. Let's check the disk size. DF minus H. We have slash partition with the size of 1.8 TB. To see the software read status, you can run the command cat PROC MD stat. We are using RAID 0 with the two drives. Thank you for watching. 
Hope you find the video useful. If you like the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.